What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a very amazing custom elite figure review, and it is of Alistair Black from NXT. Freaking amazing figure right here. This was made by Mad underscore Reaper underscore Studios. I will leave a link in the description below. Go to his Instagram page. Very, very, very underrated customizer in the WWE figures. Uh, he has less than 2,000 followers. So let's go ahead and get that count way up. He definitely deserves it. He does phenomenal work. This is the second Aleister Black custom I have ever seen done next to BEWs. And both of the, these figures look amazing. Um, if you've seen BEWs, definitely go check out his as well. But this figure, my God, I am so excited to get my hands on it. We definitely are going to get into this figure very detailed because... Because there are so many uh, tattoos and stuff with this figure. A lot of work done on it. So let's go ahead and get started because I cannot wait any longer. Before we take a closer look at the figure, guys, I wanted to go ahead and show you this. If you order from Mad Reaper, he will send you a personalized letter right here. So I got, thanks for the order, bro. Hope you dig it. Stuck in a little tattoo just for, for you on his left shoulder from Mad Reaper. It is like a little uh, laminated postcard thing. And you see there, Mad Reaper Studios. Uh, web address right there. I guess he has a website, which I did not know, so definitely go check him out. So now that we have seen that, let's go ahead and get into this figure. All right, guys, starting out at the top of the head, we have this Heath Slater head scan, believe it or not, that we used um, before we even get into the formula, though, I want to give a huge shout-out to BEW for the inspiration behind this entire custom. He totally told me every single part that he used for it, so that is amazing. Thank you, brother, for that. But this head scan is Heath Slater, same one that BEW used for his Aleister Black. And I think it does do well. I mean, obviously, it's not perfect by any means, but I think it definitely works because it'll probably be a little bit before we get an Aleister Black head scan. But uh, you see the moon tattoo there on his uh, left cheek of his and then the right side here of the video there but he did do a good job mad reaper did of removing the hair and then sculpting on the uh the skull of uh alistair black there and then adding that boat alice hair piece which i think works really well it really does resemble uh alistair black's hair there so very nice job by mad reaper sculpted on that beard which looks incredible as well Going down into the torso here, we did use a Bo Dallas torso, shoulders, and arms for this custom. So that is the torso choice we went with. You have all of his uh, tattoo designs there on the chest, sternum, and neck area, which I think works really awesome. Uh, he did decals on this area, um, and his decal application is phenomenal. Like This thing is fully posable, believe it or not. It will not rub off. It will not chip. It will not do anything. So very very nice decal application i believe he has been doing customs for uh, over 10 years so the, the the experience is definitely there but this is the tattoo that he put in on his shoulder especially for me right there you see mdt on his shoulder which is so sick i love that and it's covered by the hair so it's not like it's a big deal um, when it's just resting in place so huge shout out to him again man that is so awesome that he would actually throw that in there it is the little things definitely so that is so amazing. And then here is the incredible back piece that is all completely hand-painted. So he completely hand-painted this back piece, which looks amazing. You know Aleister Black has this huge monster zombie thing on his back, and it just looks incredible. I don't know how uh, customizers like him and BEW even do it. Like The way that they are able to hand-paint all of the designs is incredible. I mean, I can do little stuff, like I can do Finn Balor uh, paints, but that's probably because, you know, it's sort of dirty looking, so I can do that all day, but this right here is so precise and clean, I don't know how they do it, but there is the back piece, and then here we have his arm decals, which I believe some are hand-painted and some are decals, which I'm not exactly sure, and I can't even tell which is which, so that just tells you how good of a paint job he did, but um, there is the arm tattoos on the right arm. Uh, there's the shoulder tattoos as well going down into his hand right here you have his hand tattoo as well and then on his knuckles you have anti right there on the other one it has hero little heart right there on the thumb just so freaking detailed under his ribs right here this one's really awesome it's like a shark koi fish type deal and it looks so incredible as well just all of this looks amazing even the decals look amazing as well so i don't know how he got such good uh decal like how he got good images of these tattoos as well so just another look at that back piece my god um, bending down the arm right here you have uh, more of just a black and white sleeve that Alistair has going on which is sort of hard to tell what's going on in his sleeve but I think it is incredible I believe that it's just a bunch of uh, dark sort of stuff and then uh, some Japanese 
incorporated in there as well. So here's the other hand. You have the little Asian lady on his hand. Um, some more logos on his hands there. And then Hero right there on his knuckles. That's copyright infringement to wrestling hero figs. Uh, going down into the tights here, we have some black trunks. And on the back, we have his gold design right there, which is hand-painted. And that looks incredible as well. And I really dig that gold color a lot. This is a Finn Balor crotch and lower legs, so that is where we got it. We used the uh, Network Spotlight Demon or the Elite 41, I cannot remember. But here are the leg tattoos on the left thigh. Here you have this little wolf tattoo. And then on the other one you have like some other things. Uh, Alistair Black is totally tatted up from head to toe, so it's sort of hard to tell what all his tattoos are. Here's the knee pad design with the gold and black, which I think resembles Alistair Black really nicely. I think that it fits him well. And then here's one of my favorite parts of the entire custom is his cool kick pads that have like a gold barbed wire sort of lightning design going around which looks amazing. That is hand painted as well and I think Mad Reaper totally knocked that out of the park. Just Jesus Christ. This is probably the most detailed custom I have in my collection hands down. I am so happy to have this Aleister Black. Uh, just so incredible work. Mad Reaper Studios on Instagram. Again, link in the description below. I'll also pull it up here on the screen so you guys can see. But this is the full Aleister Black custom, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is going to do it for this video. Again, huge shout out to him for this custom. So freaking happy with it. You will definitely be seeing him on Vindication, I believe. So stay tuned for that. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE, WWE figure-related videos. Leave a like. Leave a comment on what you think of this Aleister Black. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.